I thought my breastfed daughter was being picky. I thought she was being stubborn. I thought maybe we had the wrong kind of bottle or nipple or we didn't offer her a bottle often enough or we didn't give her a bottle early enough. Again and again, my daughter refused to take a bottle while I was gone. I was so frustrated. What was I doing wrong? And then I tasted the breast milk in one of the bottles that we had been trying to give to her. Nothing had prepared me for that moment. My breastfeeding class, lactation consultant, pediatrician, mom, girlfriends, no one had warned me about this moment. My breast milk tasted bad. No, no, not just bad. My breast milk tasted horrible. I was devastated. Instantly, I was flooded with questions. Was all of my milk bad? Was there something wrong with me? What about all of the milk in my freezer? Did all of that taste bad? Was there something wrong with my freezer? Why did my breast milk taste bad? After hours and hours of research, I diagnosed myself with excess lipase activity. There was nothing wrong with the nutrition of my breast milk an overactive enzyme in my expressed milk was causing it to taste bad over time. I didn't discover that I had excess lipase activity until my daughter was five months old. I had spent hours and hours pumping breast milk. I had 575 ounces of frozen milk in my freezer and all of it tasted bad. It was gut-wrenching. <laughs> all of that milk. All of that milk tasted bad, and my daughter wouldn't drink it. My daughter will be turning six next month, and her little brother is three and a half. And with all of these years of experience that I have now dealing with excess lipase activity, there are some things that I want every breastfeeding mother to know. Number one, excess lipase activity can happen to anyone. There hasn't been enough formal research done to determine the cause of excess lipase activity in breast milk. So any mother who hopes to pump breast milk, even if it's just for an occasional bottle for a babysitter, or perhaps you're going to work and you need a full stockpile of breast milk in your freezer, this same situation can happen to you. And because it can happen to you, my number two is don't wait. Test your breast milk for excess lipase activity right away. It's simple. Take a small amount of breast milk and put it in your refrigerator. A quarter of an ounce will do. Taste it, just a little drop, every couple hours. If the milk tastes fine after five, six, seven days, then you're in the clear. But if the taste becomes offensive in flavor, then you could have excess lipase activity. But number three is important. Even if you have excess lipase activity in your breast milk, you can still continue to have a healthy nursing relationship with your little one. It does not have to be the end of your breastfeeding journey. There's a solution and there are answers and there's support out there and I want to support you and you can still pump your milk, freeze your milk, give your baby a bottle of express breast milk. And it's gonna be okay. Number four, you're not alone. I felt alone. I felt like there wasn't much research out there. I felt like there weren't many moms talking about this in person or online. I felt like my doctor didn't know. I had problems with lactation consultants not knowing what I was talking about. But you're not alone. There's many moms who have gone through this. I have gone through this and I want to help you. I don't want another mom to feel as desperate for answers and support as I did, which is why I wrote the book, Why Does My Breast Milk Taste Bad? One Mom's Journey to Overcoming Excess Lipase Activity. In my ebook, you will find an explanation of excess lipase activity that you don't need a medical degree to understand. You'll find answers to 31 of my most frequently asked questions. You'll find detailed instructions on how to test your milk for excess lipase activity and step-by-step -step instructions 
on how to stop that bad taste from forming in your breast milk. I provide eight suggestions for what to do with all that bad tasting milk in your freezer, as well as a list of milk banks that will accept your frozen breast milk. You'll also find valuable information from Dr. Ruth Lawrence, who is the nation's leading authority on breastfeeding. But above all, you will find the support and encouragement and knowledge to know that you are not alone. So, number five of all the things that every breastfeeding mother needs to know about excess lipase activity, awareness is crucial. Even if you don't struggle with this problem, you might know somebody who does. Women need to be talking about this. I didn't know that this could happen, and so many moms I've talked to had no idea that it could happen to them. Spread the word. Tell moms. This is the most important breastfeeding advice that you most likely have never heard before. So finally, if you don't suffer from excess lipase activity, I would encourage you to still share this video with somebody in your life. There may be a family member or friend who's silently asking themselves, why does my breast milk taste bad? And you can be the help that they need. And if you do suspect that you have this condition, check out my book, Why Does My Breast Milk Taste Bad? at simplyrebecca.com or Amazon to order. I want to help you and support you in your journey.